Hello there. Hope I'm not waking anyone up. I'm Captain Peter McGillagully, and I'm welcoming you on this Air New Zealand flight to London via Bangkok. In case you haven't noticed, we've got one hum ding -a dong of a moon out there in the starboard window. <laughs> Hope all that wolf howling back there is just my fan club. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Must admit, people, I've never been a big moon fan myself. Especially not when my cousin Norm drops his strides. <laughs> Always been much more of a sun baby. Not a bad town at all this year. A bit pale, I guess, round the you know where. <laughs> there again, never been one to sunbathe in the full you know what. <laughs> no. Yeah. I wonder what it was that happened in that tragic pilot's childhood that made him need to violate the ears of every woman on this plane. <laughs> He's only having a bit of a laugh. A bit of a laugh. <laughs> the film The Accused, starring Jodie Foster, also began with an oh-say oh, amusing airline pilot having a bit of a laugh. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> I know. You shut that bit out because it was too close to home. <laughs> Look, I work a lot with children, so I'm very attuned to seeing the presence of the man-child in embryo within the adult male. <laughs> or so-called adult male. You're feeling nervous, aren't you? It's all right. You can hold your penis if it relieves your anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey. Yes. Blimey. Her name is Corinna. For five years, she has been the earth-shaking, earth mother of a nanny that has made New Zealanders curse the day they emigrated. <laughs> Rising like a whale through the tranquil waters of their everyday lives. Lips and knuckles bleach like Greg Norman at the merest rustle of her cheesecloth skirts. <laughs> the tawny owl squeak of her new leather sandals empties nurseries, streets, the whole of Auckland on one occasion. <laughs> and now she has flown the rain-drenched nest of Christchurch, ready to dazzle the unsuspecting British with her bottle-top perceptions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, what is it now? I have a gift for you. No, it's OK, thanks. I've got a suitcase packed with textiles for Bangkok. It's not a material gift. It is something you can carry in your brain. <laughs> men. 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 Aye? Men. What are you, then? Steve or Bill, Fred or Ben? Why is it to you the female is but a pest on the phone? Is it because you are drowning? Drowning in testosterone? <laughs> Do you know that poem? That's a poem. Very great poem. Perhaps the most famous lines ever penned by Mags Babicom. <laughs> Wonderful poetess from Wangarei. <laughs> Dead now. You're quite sure about that. <laughs> Hello there, Peter McGilligully again. <laughs> Just thought you might like to know we'll be scootering along to the land of the glittering pagodas at about 35,000 feet. And if you'll give me a few moments, I'll give that to you in inches. 